we have for many years been calling this gathering the art of allowing and we mean the art of allowing yourself right now right now right now right now right now 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 it's gonna take a while now 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 right now to be in the receptive mode of all that you've become so we want to explain to you what the actual physics of vibration becoming reality is how do thoughts turn to things how do vibrations turn to thoughts and how do thoughts turn to things how does this time-space reality evolve as it does if it is a vibrational reality Abraham then how is it that I can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it because your eyes translate your eyes are vibrational translators so is your nose and your fingertips and your tongue and your ears you are translating the vibration so here's this vibration and let's say that it is your inner being source God call it whatever you want it's the non-physical version of you version of you It's a non-physical point of view of you it's a non-physical knowledge of who you are it's a non-physical knowledge of the expanded version of you It's a vibrational consciousness that knows it is knowing it is all-knowing it is a vibrational consciousness of knowing and it's vibrating here now are you seeing it no are you hearing it no are you smelling it no tasting it no touching it no it's a vibrational version that you could do all of those things with you're just not yet you're just not yet when source puts consciousness in the rose you can smell it in other words all of that consciousness is being experienced by you in so many different ways but this is a new thought this is a new thought about you this is a new thought about you that you just launched because of something that you lived and you're not ready to receive it vibrationally but it's there it's there so now we have a really important question for you if a tree falls in the forest and there's no one there to hear it did it make a sound and the answer to that question is no because sound is the word that is applied when something that is physical translates a vibration into something meaningful and if there were no ears there to do the translation then there could not have been sound there could have been vibration but no sound the sound happened in the receiving mode are you getting what we're saying to you so here's this consciousness here's consciousness knowing about you all knowing about you offering a vibration and it fell over in the forest did you hear it no <laughs> so when you are in the receiving mode let's say that you woke up happy today and you didn't do anything to change that you didn't remember yesterday <laughs> yet so there you are offering a vibration feeling good maybe you meditated you're feeling good so there's nothing happening in your vibration that is resisting this vibration of source consciousness so now you are in the receiving mode and you think a thought you say oh man I just got the best idea and with that idea comes an emotion of elation an emotion of clarity that's the first step in vibration turning to thoughts to things in other words this is the beginning of the translation of vibration into something this is the gap that we're wanting you to consciously begin to close now if you're in a bad mood if someone mistreated you and you're thinking about it if you woke up thinking about it if you've already written an email about it if you've been on the phone talking to your best friend about it if you wrote it in your diary in other words if you've been thinking about it if you've been thinking about that injustice that happened yesterday and now you're off on a tangent yeah that's not the first person that's done that to me won't be the last and so you're down the road on all that vibration then you're nowhere near the vibrational signal of this pure positive energy of the source within you so you're not getting any of that reception the reception that you're getting is of a different nature it's the spin-off of man's conscious thought you see what we're getting at so as we're moving forward here today we want to show you how you can live happily ever after we want you to make peace with contrast we want you to understand that contrast matters that contrast and variety are necessary for you to focus your desires into being we just think it would be such a wonderful idea for you and such a good experience for you 
if once you've launched those rockets of desire and you have oh you have your vortex is so full it would take you 20 or 30 lifetimes to realize it all it would be such a good idea if you could understand the laws of the universe and understand the progress that you've already made and understand the one two three step process of creation step one is contrast causes you to ask and you've been doing it for a long time and you're still doing it all day every day step two source receives the requests that you have asked and becomes the vibrational embodiment of them and never ceases offering a signal about all of that which equals your path your path of least resistance which is step three are you allowing yourself to go or are you arguing for your limitations are you allowing yourself to go or are you explaining what is instead are you allowing yourself to go or are you defending why you haven't been going or explaining how many other people are standing in the same spot with you and they're not able to go either so as we're moving forward today it's our desire to help you to sort of loosen up and let go of those patterns of thought we would never ask you to stop thinking the thoughts you're thinking it's not even vibrationally possible because law of attraction is bringing to you plenty of evidence and support for the beliefs you hold that's why you keep believing them you believe it and so law of attraction gives you more of it because law of attraction says that which is likened to itself is drawn Esther would say to us especially in the beginning but Abraham it's true and we said what's that got to do with anything there are a lot of things that you don't want that are true don't focus upon them this is an inclusion based universe when you look at wanted and say yes to it you include it when you look at unwanted and shout no at it you include it you can't turn it off with no you can only turn it off by saying yes to something else you can only turn off what you don't want by giving your attention to what you do want you see so we know it takes some adjustment it takes some reorientation it takes some caring about how you feel it takes some understanding about the laws of the universe it takes in many cases some faith some willingness to believe something that you can't actually prove to yourself this red hot minute except that law of attraction will give you evidence all day every day focus on something and watch it show up over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and stop giving your attention to something and watch it fade from your experience altogether it's just this powerful understanding about law of attraction we're eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you there is nothing off limits here you will notice a perfect unfolding as together we will accomplish a complete satisfaction of everything that's on your mind because you've already put it into the vortex and we're already standing over here with it and we know exactly where you are in relationship to what you want and so let's have some fun what do you want to talk about <laughs>